This is Rod from Mount Washington Sewer and Drain Cleaning. We're at 198 Kearsarge Road, North Conway, New Hampshire. Now we've just cleared a massive root blockage inside the sewer pipe, which would have been the old clay and cast iron pipe that's original to the building. We are out in the SDR 35. House did have a septic tank 20 years ago. Uh, town came in and had the line uh, septic tank removed and a city sewer line ran from the house to the street. Uh, multiple bends in the SDR 35 and it's about as far as we can push. Pipe is brand new from this point all the way out. Should be no issues. So we'll be starting to come back towards the building now. And the joint is good. There are a lot of turns. I would suggest filling the tub once a week also and let the drain and give the toilet a couple flushes just to hammer flush anything okay. that's because uh, it is a long distance run and it's probably a lot of slope so that the solids are going to be left behind and that water is going to take off a lot faster. And right there at about 53, yeah, about 53 and a half feet is where we see the outside clean out, which is in the yard. You can see it right underneath the three on there. It's kind of a half shaped moon, but there is an outside clean out in the yard. right there that's small that'll flush right out and that connection there is good and this connection that we're looking at right here picks up the other half of the house which has a kitchen sink in a tub and two kitchen sinks two kitchen sinks a shower a shower a tub a tub toilet upstairs a toilet a upstairs a sink upstairs and a sink upstairs and a uh, um, a kitchen sink. Kitchen sink? Okay. Yeah. All right, so that would Two be... kitchen sinks. Would that be all new addition? Uh, is that yeah, new with it? That would basically be all new addition uh, added onto the old structure. It was test flush paper is flowing through fine. Yeah, see that kitchen sink used to come over back to this right here. Yep. I'm sure when, that, when they put the addition on, they just chopped off put it over there. And right around this area here is where we ran into uh, that big root ball that we yeah. had cut. It was stuck inside there, so we were able to grab it out with a spring retriever. And we're heading back towards the building. Almost looks like old transite pipe. At least there was nothing crushed in there. No, nothing crushed. No structural failures. No sags. That connection's good. And we're coming back into the clay pipe. This is where we removed a lot of the roots. She's all cleaned out. That's just some muck up on top of the pipe. Yep. That's that joint right there that the heavy root was from, and right How here too. That? Uh, that was 17 feet. This is 13 feet. This is where that massive root growth was that we were able to cut that heart back out and get it out of there. And the clay joints all appear to be in really good shape, which is good for an old home. Yeah. Well, I don't know when that was put in, but was, the house was built in 1913, the main part of the house. That would have to say this is all original. Mm -hmm. This is the cast iron. Uh, we were able to ream down a lot of it, smooth it out a little bit, so that's good. It was heavy scale inside there. It does slow flow down. There is a sanitary tee on its back on the uh, the clean outside here, so that does slow flow. That should have been a Y put in. 
but they didn't do that half the time. And we're heading back out towards the clean out. And we had found the original clean out in that pit right down here. And that concludes the cleaning and the inspection for number 198 Kearsarge Road in North Conway, New Hampshire.